you've mm -hmm. had a chance to scan through. Uh, we're going to go through the overrated, the underrated, and the guy that was completely snubbed out of, yeah. out of the top 100. Start with overrated. What's the guy you thought was ranked too highly? Yeah, overrated, I'd have to say, would have to be a guy who I really like a lot. Oh, boy, we had one of our guys up here already. But most overrated would be Vic Beasley, the defensive end from the Atlanta Falcons. And no, namely, only not because I'm really trying to take shots at Vic Beasley. He's going to be a fine football player. But some of the people who are right behind him. What I mean, was we, his number? Do we know? He, he was in the 40s. But we had guys like his number 46 to be exact. But when you have guys like Russell Wilson and Justin Houston ranked behind him, Mike Evans, wide receiver from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, guys who have really put up some huge numbers and played quality, quality football for a number of years already to be ranked behind him. I know this is a little bit of a forward th forward thinking, forward looking ranking here, but these are guys who are still in the prime of their careers and that's not to take any shot about Vic, but you know, this is a very subjective type of thing, but I think he was the most overrated, David. Led the NFL in sacks. Did you, do you know that? Yeah, I do. But, you know, quality of sacks is something important, too. See, I'm, I'm all into the nuance of this stuff, man. I'm not just in the rankings. We could talk about this all day. Okay. But, let's day. but we don't have time. We don't have the time. We've already revealed your biggest I know. Snub. I know. But you know what? Larry Fitzgerald, even at this point in his career where he's not the same as he was when he first came out of the University of Pittsburgh, hailed a pit, by the way. <laughs> this is a guy who's still, to not even be on this list, I think is just a travesty because he's still one of the best slot route running wide receivers in the NFL, one of the best professionals, and he'll have a huge year this year. He'll still be one of Carson Palmer's primary weapons. And for him to not be in the top 100 when you have some of the names that are on this list right now, it's, it's just amazing to me. And, and, again, it's not just about numbers. It's about production. It's about how, what you mean to other players on your football team. So I don't see how he didn't make the top 100 list. Larry caught 107 balls last year. And yeah. 33 and still going really good. All right, so he was completely left off. But yeah. there were guys in the top 100 that you felt were, were still too low. Yeah. This one kills me here with Drew Brees. If Drew Brees isn't a top five player in the NFL, I don't know who is. I mean, to be ranked 30th, this is a guy who over the past five years, okay, think about this, past five years, has thrown for 25,000-plus yards, the only quarterback to do that, 184 touchdowns, which is blowing everyone else away, third-highest passer rating, number one in completion percentage, and he's doing it on a football team where, quite honestly, although they run the ball a little bit better now than they have in the past, they play no defense. He has to throw the ball every single game. He puts the team on his back every single game. If he's not a top-five player, if he's 30th, then – I don't know. I guess I need to go back to the drawing board as far as football players are concerned because that guy, mad respect for him.